Welcome to the podcast where mental health is at the core of what we focus on. We strive to develop people like you to maximize who you are and what you've been called to do by sharing tools and resources for better brain health. And now here's your host, Juan Garcia. Welcome to the podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new, thank you, thank you, thank you for considering listening and watching. Uh, If you're watching through YouTube, thank you, thank you, thank you. I just hope that this series helps you and is a resource and a tool in your toolbox for mental health and peak performance. And as always, we would like for you to subscribe if you haven't done so and share, like, For the algorithm, we want to put the information out there to help as many people as we can, as we know that we are living in very difficult times and mental health is being challenged to the max. And so this information, I'm hoping that will be helpful to so many people out there in different countries. We have people listening to and viewing us from different places and parts of the world. And so we are excited about this platform and the opportunity we have to share these tools. And so as I announced in an earlier video, this series is all about codependency. We have people that have heard of this term, people that have um, been familiar with uh, friends, family members that have been told they're codependent. And so I want to make sure that we all have a really good running definition as to what this term means. And also we're going to dissect what are signs, what are symptoms in this video of what codependency may look like. And then we're going to go moving forward and teaching you how to not only identify codependency in your life or in someone uh, that you know in their life, but we're also going to challenge you how to overcome codependency and then stay codependency free. Now, here's a working definition as to what codependency actually means. And that is prioritizing others' needs, expectations, or problems over one's own mental health and physical health. And in codependency, a person's sense of worth comes from others rather than internally. And I think that's gonna be a big point that we're going to discuss because a lot of people that are codependent are in denial. They they don't see how they find their worth and their value in others until we dig deep into some of their behavior patterns and some of the things that they choose to do in life. And uh, I, I will say it, it, it was something of a surprise for me when my therapist told me that I was codependent. I was like, no, I'm not. I don't depend on no one. I don't depend on anything. And uh, she was right. I was highly codependent because I, I'm a people pleaser. I, I needed to uh, please people and connected to that people pleasing aspect of my behavior was performance. Um, I grew up as a musician uh, playing in the church and then I also played sports. And so I was always performing something. And that's what led to some of my codependency when my needs were not being met emotionally, uh, spiritually, mentally. And that's when we start to act out. We start to acquire behavior that is detrimental and unhealthy. That's why this topic is so important because we uh, subscribe to behavior and patterns of life that we don't even realize why we do them. We're instinctive. We are people that naturally do things um, in patterns because it's safe for us, it's known, it's familiar. And I wanna make sure that if we're doing that naturally, that we're doing that in a healthy way and at least in a conscious way. So if we're making bad decisions, that we become more aware of that and make better decisions. So codependency is that one thing that we have to make sure we're not allowing to drive our motivation behind what we do. Now, here are some signs and some symptoms that I believe are indicative of some codependency. When we talk about uh, signs and symptoms of codependency, 
we are actually referring to a series of behaviors that are meant to help the codependent make sense of feeling powerless and unworthy. That's what we're talking about. Powerless and unworthy. That's that's where a lot of the codependency traits um, kind of lie. And uh, here are some of the, those things. Uh, number one, you may be codependent if you have the need to please people. If you have the need to please people. Um, you may believe you are selfish if you focus on yourself. You feel guilty when you say no. You experience resentment when people don't appreciate all that you do for them. Uh, this is definitely a sign. Uh, you want to avoid conflict. Um, you know, uh, give power away. Believe someone else has a better idea of how to live your life or feel hostage of others' expectations. Um, another sign that you may be codependent is the lack of self-awareness and sense of self-worth. And what that looks like is uh, you pin your worth on the judgment of others. Uh, and with social media, this is uh, prevalent. Um, many people use social media as a platform where they can uh, express some of their uh, preferences and feelings and, and things that they are into, expecting people to like, comment, share, and uh, be all about support. And when that happens, they feel great. When that doesn't happen, they feel terrible. Therefore, if that is you, then you have a, a lack of sense of self-awareness uh, and worth. And that is a sign of codependency. And, you know, we can dig a little deeper into that. Obviously, um, if you don't know and you're tuning in for the first time, we do have an office in Hawthorne, New Jersey, where uh, I do see clients in person. But I also uh, see clients virtually. So if you do have some interest in trying to have some sessions set up, feel free to uh, follow the information in the link that's in the description box. Here's, here's um, another sign that you may be codependent. You have reality issues. Uh, and this is what it, it kind of looks like. And I'm just reading from my notes here. Um, when you have reality issues, you may accept others' version of reality over your own. Uh, you may feel bad or sick or wrong when second-guessing others. You disassociate from reality sometimes by numbing uh, with self or numbing self with alcohol, drugs, pornography, food, excessive shopping, or work. You also may have reality issues uh, when, and, and you may minimize how things are impacting you. Eh, it's no big deal. Eh, it's okay. Or you may have trouble understanding how you feel about events in your life. I don't get it. Why is this happening to me? Why is this happening to me? That's just another sign and a symptom. Another sign and a symptom is distorted thinking. And for this, we offer what's called cognitive behavior therapy or CBT because we want to make sure that we're identifying if there is a distortive type of thinking or cognitive distortions that we're identifying them. And basically, that's just a psychological word for irrational thinking, things that may not even be true. And uh, for those that may be tuning in again for the first time, uh, we did write a book. Um, I have a book that's titled, I Said to Myself, False Beliefs That Won't Let Me Breathe. And in that book, I talk about some of these cognitive distortions or irrational thinking. And, and so if you do struggle with this, you may uh, believe that it's not okay or safe to share what you truly think or feel. Uh, or you you may take others' behavior personally. You may struggle with perfectionism. You may struggle with experiencing all or nothing thinking, black or white, so forth and so on. And uh, another and lastly um, symptom or sign that you may be codependent is that you have intimacy issues. Um, if you have intimacy, uh, intimacy issues, you may have the sense of desperately wanting to be with someone. You uh, may turn someone else into your God or oxygen. You, you live and breathe for that person. You may bottle up feelings until you explode and feel justified because you have stayed quiet for too long. 
You may feel abandoned when others set limits with you, such as needing a break from a conversation. Somebody says, you know what, I just I just need a break. And all of a sudden, you take it personal and, oh, this person hates me. And oh, why, why are they leaving me? And, and you have this sense of abandonment when in reality, they just need a break. And, and so if you're experiencing something like that, then you have intimacy issues. Therefore, you may be codependent. And again, we're going to break these things down um, as we go into the uh, subject of identifying what these uh, codependency traits are specifically so that we can target them and, and know how to um, overcome them. And then uh, you may also have intimacy issues if you allow others to dominate conversations and plans so that you can hide behind them because you, if it goes bad, if it goes south, you don't want to uh, be held responsible or you don't want to be looked at as the bad person. So these are things that are signs and symptoms, and there are many more, but just so you have a gist. And if you identify with any of these, then chances are you are codependent. Now, what does that mean? Well, if you're codependent, that means that things um, happen around you, thought patterns, behaviors um, that you can't get over and your life is driven or your life is led based on other people's behaviors, other people's expectations. And that is unhealthy because at the end of the day, you have uh, to live your life, your individualistic life, not that you don't need people because on the contrary, we do need each other. We, we don't live in an island all by ourselves. We need each other. We need to be in relationship. But those relationships have to be healthy and our emotional state has to be healthy. And so when we identify these uh, signs and symptoms, then we can make the adjustment necessary to make better decisions so that our behavior is in line with our core values. But if we don't identify these things, then we may not even have core values that we subscribe to that, you know, we a core value could be something like, um, you know, respecting yourself having self-worth, not giving yourself up to just anything or anyone um, just because they want you or just because they need to see you. I, I know of individuals where, you know, they're feeling sick and someone calls them, oh, I need you to take me to such and such place. And they don't know how to say no. They don't know how to just say, well, I'm not feeling good today. Uh, um, you know, sorry, you know, I got you, but just not today. They feel bad in saying no because they think that the person is going to feel rejected. Therefore, they don't want to experience that rejection. So they compromise their own health and do what the person is asking them to do. That's codependency. Because when you feel bad about doing something right, it's unhealthy. You need to stick to your uh, core values and say, because deep down, you know your motivation is you want to help this person, but you're just not feeling good. And that's okay. And so these are the things that I want to kind of address in this series. Uh, I hope that this is helpful to you as we start off. Again, we're just starting off. If you identify any of these, put a comment in below. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, let's connect. Let's get deeper into this topic because I believe that the more aware we are of this, the more helpful uh, it'll be to us to discover what it is that we're codependent on and how do we overcome it so that we can stay codependency free. Thanks again for tuning in. That is it for today's episode. We're excited to share this with you. All the information needed will be in the description um, in the box below. So be sure to stay tuned. Be sure to subscribe so you know when we drop the next episode and I will see you next time. Thank you for tuning into our podcast. For more information, visit our website at juangarciaenterprises.com. Our host, Juan Garcia, is available for speaking, coaching, and one-on-one -on -one counseling. You can email us at info at juangarciaenterprises.com. Until next time, remember, we only have one mind, so mind yours.